back in Beck's studio, AKA still in the hospital. That's okay, we expected that, it's still September 4th. One of the special things about today, and I think I'm just gonna share these in clips instead of giving you guys a whole story. One of the things is that September 4th, 10 years ago is a very important day to me because that is the day that Roger and I started Facebook official dating. Cause you know, once Facebook was a thing, it wasn't official for a while unless it was on Facebook. So that's 10 years ago today. So that is one of the sweetest memories that I have associated with September 4th. Stay tuned for the rest of these vlogs if you wanna hear clips about the rest of the stories. But he is in town now. He was spending Labor Day up in West Virginia with that side of our family. And he's in town now and he's on his way down here. So I'm so excited to see my husband even though mom has been wonderful i want her to be able to get a break and i know that she could use one and i won't put her on camera right now because i know that she has i know she wouldn't prefer it <laughs> gotcha she's gonna be on youtube now she don't even know it actually she did but that's all right um but rod should be here any minute i just wanted to share that one anecdote with you about september 4th because that's one of the reasons that this date is sweet. Even in the years when it was bittersweet, this was the sweet part. I'll get to the kind of more bitter stuff later, but know that now, September 4th is a sweet day in my book. But you know, no refined sugar. Guys, guess who's here? The love of my life for the past 10 years exactly to the date. Guess who's back? Back again. Uh, I got the last. How are we doing, Raj? Watch Big Brother. Hospital favorite pastime. Okay, guys. Instead of getting into all of the medical details of what is to come in the next few days and what has gone wrong, I'm not going to get into all that right now. I want to finish my September 4th stories for y'all. If you notice that it's harder for me to talk, it's because I am pretty dehydrated, even though they've got me some saline going up there and have for, well, since we went to the ER last night, but I'm still very dehydrated. You can probably tell by the way it's, I mean, it's taking me effort to form my words and I have to lick my lips a lot, so I apologize for that. However, September 4th, this is how God works, guys. And I don't know if we can call it irony, because I don't know that that's really a word we should use when talking about God, but it sure as heck is something that only God could do. So September 4th, 2007, 10 years ago today, I already told you Roger and I started dating officially. It was Facebook official September 4th, um, 2007. September 4th of 2004, which was 12 plus one years ago, was for so very many years, a very bittersweet day for me because it was the day that I was discharged from Ramuda Ranch in Wickenburg, Arizona after spending 60 days out there, gaining weight and gaining my life back. Now, at that point as a high schooler, I, I maintained a healthy weight throughout most of high school, even though my mind was still disordered. And I mean, college and even through present day, things have flared up now, not so much recently, because all of this going on now is physical, because God right now has lifted so much of the disorder that was there. I mean, some of the thoughts are always gonna be there, but I'm able to not, not let them take over. The irony comes in this. September 4th was such a bittersweet day for so long because leaving the ranch was very sad for me because I was leaving a bunch of friends that I had made. I know it sounds weird to be sad to leave somewhere that's 2,500 miles away from home when you're 15, but I was a little sad. However, at the same time, I was also really happy because I had done a lot of work in 60 days and I was being discharged and I got a flight out of Phoenix at 4.30 in the morning and had a wonderful gate change unexpectedly at the airport and it was a mess. But as a 15 year old using the payphone and my calling card <laughs> to call my parents, because that's what you did back then, I figured it out and made it home. But that was September 4th of 12 plus one years ago. And earlier, I told you September 4th, three years after that was when Roger and I started dating officially. And today, September 4th, 2017, today, September 4th, 2017, 
Whereas my mind was still very disordered and wanting to lose weight, even after I got discharged in 2004, I am now fighting to get every single daggone calorie that I can get in my body. So I can gain weight purposely, intentionally. I'm choosing to do it because I want treatment, because I want life. Go ahead. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys that's September 4th, kind of a cool day. You know, 12 plus one years ago, I came out of my second treatment center. I did end up having to go to a third treatment center three months into our marriage, which is gonna be my last because I'm not going back into treatment anymore because this disease does not get to win my life anymore. Satan doesn't get a hold that, doesn't get to win that battle. But back then in 2004, you know, I was still very much in a sick mindset. And even until, you know, the past recent year or, or two, not to say the thoughts are completely gone, but they're, I'm able to not act on them. Go ahead. Just open my arms and open my eyes. So anyway, September 4th used to be what I called a bittersweet day. And I usually make a big profound Facebook status about this. I think this is the first year I'm not going to because I don't have the energy and I'm filming this vlog. But it was bittersweet for so long because I was leaving friends that I loved. Even though I had done awesome work and was gaining my life back, I was still disordered in my mind quite a bit. And um, it was hard to leave a place that had been security for 60 days when I was 15 years old. And then... It became a sweet day when Roger and I started dating, hence the bittersweet part. Yet there was still always that part in the back of my mind that dreaded, oh my gosh, September 4th. Now, I know a discharge date should not have power over me, and it doesn't anymore. But it is a significant date in my life because it now, in God's magnificent irony... Give me just a sec, guys. Garlic. Oh, miss, yeah. Sorry. That's okay. I should have got regular. I should have put this on before you came in. I should have been smart. No big deal. Taken care of. Sorry, I was not on top of things. I did not have my mask on and I forgot Roger could potentially be getting hummus from the cafeteria. And garlic, you know, because who wants to smell garlic? And I mean that sarcastically because I actually love things with garlic. I just can't smell it without my nervous system going into hyperdrive. So it was a bitter day, then it was a bittersweet day, and now it's a God day because the things that God has done in my life on September 4th, like the short, short vlog that I posted from this this morning, 9 4 17, I posted a very impromptu, like three minute long vlog earlier today. These are the things that I referenced. The being discharged from Bermuda, the dating Roger officially when it was Facebook official, and then now, just the irony of 12 plus 1 years ago leaving the ranch, how I felt when I was at a healthy weight for a 15-year-old at that time versus now, today, how I feel in 2017. So, 2004 versus 2017, all I want is for Claire Bennett to do her darn job and she's being a jerk. And it's not really her, but again, I'll give you all, all the details later. Not in this vlog today, I just wanted to share my September 4th stories with y'all and give you a little bit of an update earlier. So, thanks for tuning in. Beck's out, and I'm going to spend some time with my husband here before he has to go home and, so he can sleep and get up and work tomorrow. All right, love y'all.